hi everybody this is Sithi readings and hi libra what is up with you guys let's see what messages are going to show up for you stick around until the end of the reading because i will be giving you your oracle messages okay and in case this reading resonates oh we have the knight of swords here from another deck so in case in case in case this reading resonates there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Okay. Wait a sec. Okay. What do we have for Libra? Ooh, we have the Nine of Wands. Why, Libra? Why? Ooh, two of cups and the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Libra, you're a little bit mad at somebody for something, you know? You know, you could be mad at this person because... I feel like there's somebody here who shows up and disappears on you again and again. Maybe that's why you're mad at them. But there is an energy here of somebody confusing you. When it comes to love, Libra, there is a soulmate connection here between you and somebody. There is a soulmate connection. Okay. But another thing I'm getting here is that you, you guys are not communicating, okay? There is a very strong bond between you and somebody. And I'm getting that this person's also thinking about you, but there is some form of like, there is uh, maybe lack of closure between you two from what I'm seeing because you're in this energy of, I don't want to speak to this person. You're a little bit closed off to them with the nine of wands. Okay, let's see what else for Libra. The devil. <laughs> Can you tell me about the devil card for Libra? Before I even, you know, lay out your spread, you're getting messages. So Libra, you tell me what's up with you. Because your energy seems a little bit disrupted. With the devil and the six of cups. Okay. This is connected to a past person. Mm-hmm. Somebody you know, but what's the devil about? I feel like the problem with this person is that they come and go, like I said before. Yeah, initially I did pick up on an energy here of somebody coming and going out of your life. And to me, it just seems like you don't trust them or you may still have feelings for them, but I don't feel like you trust them. And a lot of you are breaking free from toxic patterns in your life, whether that be your own toxic habits, you know. We know when we be doing things, we're like, no, this is not good for us. So a lot of you are being more aware of your energy now. But there, that devil is connected to a past person. And what makes it that way is the constant in and out, in and out, in and out energy between you two. Because a lot of you feel like, what is this, you know why do why do i have to keep running after this person why do i have to why why does this person make make me chase them okay with the ten of pentacles reverse lack of commitment lack of you know a solid foundation between you two libra so that's the reason why you showed up as the nine of wands because you're already tired of this and this is something you're not wanting to give in anymore okay let me actually pull it okay i'm sorry i had to readjust my camera but that's that libra 
Now I'm gonna see what more shows up. I feel like, you're, yes, you're trying to move on from this person. You're trying to let go of them. Okay, show me Libra's energy and their challenge. Now I'm gonna clarify about your person more in the extended, but before even reading for you, Libra, I'm getting a vibe here that some of you are dealing with maybe more than one person. If not, then why am I getting that vibe? <laughs> Oopsie. Judgment reverse, three of swords. Oh. Again, I feel like you're defensive, Libra. You're defensive. When it comes to love, you're... It's like you look at somebody like, oh, this person, you know? Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius, or a uh, Capricorn. There's somebody you look at and you're like, you know what? This person, every time I deal with them, there's drama, there's conflict. But I cannot help because somewhere down, you know, like deep inside me, deep inside of me, no. Somewhere in my heart, I still have feelings for them, okay? So, but sometimes it just feels like y'all are fighting for nothing. There is that ego clash between you two. And your energy is the judgment reverse, Libra, with the three of swords as your challenge. So whatever this is, you have really been feeling the heartbreak, okay? And right now you're in this energy where you're refusing to recall something because of the pain that it brought you. So I feel like Libra, you're, you're trying to get your mind off of somebody and you're trying to focus on other things from what I can see, okay? So let's have a look. If you really pay attention to this three of swords here in the deck, yes, there is heartbreak. There is exhaustion, okay? But I feel like there is still light at the end of the tunnel for you because what I'm really getting, Libra, is that as much as I see entanglement in a situation, I see that you're, you know, one day at a time, you're moving out of it. Okay, so your future energy is the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands is here too. So a lot of you, I feel like you're right now, you're trying to get your confidence back. Um, you're trying to, you know, pursue other things in your life, okay? But like I said, the past energy here is the Eight of Cups. It keeps showing me an ending and having to walk away. And I'm also really getting Libra that some of you maybe. Uh, you walked away from them. They walked away from you. I'm, I'm also getting one thing. Let me tell you. You revisit a certain memory with this person quite often. And every time you think about it, it hurts you. I don't know if it's a good memory or a bad memory, okay? And if it doesn't hurt you as bad as it did initially, there is still an energy here of, oh, it's sad. Because I feel like you always wanted to make it right with them. And to me, it looks like this person has love for you too. I'm going to post some cards for your person in a bit as well. But for now, the main focus for you in your life is maintaining some form of balance, you know? You're trying to work on yourself. You're trying to make your finances better. I feel like some of you are simultaneously working on two things in your life, two projects two ventures, okay? And it's 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 looking good for you, King of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like you're gonna be making good money. And I feel like there's somebody else who's into you, Libra, like a secret admirer energy. But you're not into that person as you are 
as you were maybe in your past person. Some of you are still interested in the past person. Seven of Wands. Yeah, so Libra is trying to... I feel like Libra, you're trying to accept things now. You're in that acceptance stage. And you're trying to stay on, on top of your game, okay? So... Um, it's, it's almost like a lot of you feel like now I'm going to focus on what's important for me. It's almost like there's something going on within you emotionally, but you're still kind of like, it's good that you're distracting yourself from it, you know, because your challenge is still the three of swords. I'm going to get to that in a bit. So then you have the tower energy here. Something recently really fell apart it really fell apart and it made you very restless yeah look at that temperance reverse and i feel like one person really tried to save the situation but there was deleting blocking involved i'm also getting that there's somebody in the equation who has anger issues or temperament issues you're hoping to move forward from it, but I feel like at the same time, Libra, at some point, if there was something, you know, like this, then I feel like you would want to clarify it with this person. You genuinely would, you know, be into clarifying it with them. But I'm kind of getting that for you right now, your priorities, your happiness and a sense of detachment from this that, OK, I thought that this was making me happy. Now I kind of have to focus on myself a lot of you are also learning about your growth spirituality healing okay um let's see show me libra's outcome yeah two of wands energy show me libra's outcome you have nada cups and the four of swords I feel like you're going to be communicating with somebody or somebody is going to show up for you. But with the four of swords energy, you may not you may not be ready for this conversation yet. OK, but you being ready for it or you not being ready for it, that's not making a difference for this person. Whoever is showing up for you. OK. Um, Another thing I'm getting for you, Libra, is that there is a self-imposed uh, energy here, okay, of I'm stuck, I'm stuck. And it's all about your mentality. I don't feel like you're, you're feeling stuck, though, okay? So this could be like, there, this, there's a realization that I can be free from this, okay? I can make better decisions for myself and be free from this. Uh, for some of you, you maybe were a part of a job or a situation where you, you felt tied to it in a way, but you also had a realization that if I really want it, I can make it happen for myself. You know? That is nice that you're healing and there is somebody coming towards you. But I don't feel like you're expecting them. Show me Libra's person. I want to use another deck for your person, but Four of Wands and the King of Swords came up. Let's use this one for your person. And remember, a more in-depth reading for your person will be in the description box below. Knight of Swords is here. Oh, if you remember, when I started your reading, we did see the Knight of Swords rushing in towards you. I feel like this person's coming in towards you, Libra. Yeah, you have the same energy. Look at this. The Tower, the Six of Swords, the Hierophant, Eight of Coins, Four of Coins. This is somebody who's very good with their money, maybe. Okay, this is somebody who has a business or who really works hard. 
And I feel like, yeah, this is connected to a relationship, Hierophant, Six of Swords. This is a person from the past you have walked away from or they have walked away from you because the tower energy showed up again and it's here too. Okay. So tell me more about this person for Libra. Not a coin. There's a lot of night energy for this person. Um, they're coming towards you, Libra. They're coming towards you. But, oh, okay. Then you have the Hermit and the Ace of Wands. And, and again, I'm getting energy of two different people. If you don't have two different people, then don't apply it to your life like that, okay? Libra, Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles. There is a sense of stability in your future. Some of you are also going to be making money. You're saving money to buy a house or to move. Some of you also provide for your family. But there is a good sense of balance in your money, okay? Putting that aside, I also told you that with the King of Pentacles, right? So, Libra, whoever is coming towards you is still very passionate, Ace of Wands energy. But, you know, they're silent because they are rethinking. Rethinking, is that a word? They're kind of like reconsidering things. They're giving it a good thought. They're contemplating. Okay? Because with the Knight of Pentacles, they're slow, okay? They're slow to come forward. They're slow to talk. And at the same time with the Knight of Swords, I feel like with this person, you never know what's going to happen. You can never expect a dull moment with this person because <laughs> they, <laughs> they really do rock your boat, okay? one day this person something the next day there's something else okay so this is somebody who because of their back and forth energy i feel like they're even in their head they're going back and forth about you let's see how this person views libra and libra i will continue this reading in the extended and see where's this relationship going are you guys going to uh, meet up or communicate what does this person want to say to you is there somebody new? And I'm also going to pull some cards for your like general messages in your life. So do check out the extended. It'll be linked below. Look at that. Five of Cups. Libra, this person feels like you're ignoring them. They see you exactly where you are. So this person could be very intuitive. And I'm saying that because... Libra, they're really picking up on your energy because if you remember at the start of the reading, you were the Nine of Wands and they see you as the Nine of Wands. So this is somebody, Libra, who um, they feel like, Libra, you're, you're, you're avoiding them, okay? Because you're emotionally disappointed and hurt. Okay, they don't feel like you hate them, but they feel like you're avoiding them because you're emotionally disappointed. All right, let's see. Let's use another deck. Show me uh, the advice for Libra for their challenge. Okay. I don't know if I should take it in the reverse or I should take it just like that. Emperor. Your advice here is to take back control. Your advice here is to find your sense of, sense of stability again. There is number four is very significant for you, Libra. 11, 11 and number four. So you could be seeing a lot of fours. Or your birthday maybe sums up to a number four. Or, I don't know. Some of you are born on the 24th, 25th. Or 26th of September. 
I'm getting the number four very significant. I'm getting that that number is significant for you. Show me why is the Three of Swords Libra's challenge, please. Page of Swords. And Six of Pentacles. So it's already showing me the energy that you have decided to do. You've already decided to look at the situation from a different perspective and moving on from it. So this is like this heartbreak is teaching you a lesson. Okay, Page of Swords can also be about learning things. You look at this experience and what have you learned and what can be changed. Mm -hmm. That is where your focus is at or should be at. Tell me about Libra's advice with the Emperor. Two of Wands. Yeah, making decisions. Two of Wands is about decision making. Two of Wands can sometimes also be about, okay, I initiated something and I'm planning ahead now. So some of you need to, maybe, maybe there's a business or there's a venture that you're working on. It's kind of telling you to keep focusing on that. It's telling you to look forward to your long-term stability and keep working on something, especially if it's money related. Some of you could also be reading books. Can you tell me what is this decision about or what is this about? Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Libra, some of you also need to reevaluate your relationships. And I get it, it is because of Mercury retrograde in your own sign. A sense of reevaluation in relationships, in your associations with other people, especially where you are emotionally involved. Some of you need to separate yourself from somebody, okay? And, you know, take some time off and really gather your thoughts and then see if you really want to go back or not. Because it's telling you to distance yourself, take your power back and focus on your money. Even though, yes, this person's coming in, unless there's an energy here of, okay, I understand that this person's coming towards me to clarify things with me, I get it. Okay, but if it's not going anywhere, then what's the point, really? Show me what's there for Libra. And Libra, I am going to continue this reading in your, um, in your extended and see where is, what is up with your person, okay? Where is it going and things like that with bonus messages. So do check it out. It'll be linked below. Anything more Libra needs to know? Message. Yeah, you will hear from somebody. Libra, you will hear from somebody. There's a message coming through for you. But really see, should Libra really respond to this message? Main female. Libra, if somebody is really showing up and being like, hey, I'm sorry, or let's work it out, maybe yes, you can go back. But I'm honestly going to leave the decision upon yourself because with, with, with this message, I feel like there's somebody associated who you also really like. There's also sudden wealth. Nice. So Libra is making good money and change. So your money situation is about to change, Libra. Okay. And I'm also getting that um, some of you are thinking about maybe changing your car or changing, there's something in your life that you're thinking about changing and it does require a lot of money. And secondly, I do feel like something about your finances is going to change. Let's pull some cards for what's up with Libra romantically. Let's just see.
show me what's up with Libra. And do hit the like button, you guys. It really helps to circulate the video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload your readings, Libra. Because just when you subscribe, it doesn't really notify you, okay? It may show up on your feed. Uh, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. It's really showing me, Libra, that somebody is going to be making an effort towards you. And then we have hot to hot conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So Libra, there's going to be a hot to hot between you and somebody. They may even apologize, but there is definitely an energy here of somebody wanting to make it right with you. Okay. So that's it, Libra. Thank you so much for being here. It was a pleasure to read for you guys. Um, and yeah, let me know your thoughts. And check out the extended link below if you are interested. Take care and bye-bye.